What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. TMZ caught up with Floyd Mayweather Sr., Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s dad and trainer, and asked him what his thoughts on a potential Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao rematch. The reporter said that uh, Manny Pacquiao is really pushing for the rematch, and that's what Manny Pacquiao wants as his opponent, his next opponent. Floyd Mayweather Sr. said that if Manny wants to fight, then Floyd is all in, and he'll give Manny a rematch. Now, he did say that uh, he'll beat Pacquiao the second time, the third time, the fourth, and the fifth time. He will whoop Pacquiao. No matter how many times they fight, Floyd would be the winner, according to Floyd Mayweather Sr., now, they did say that his son, Floyd Mayweather, recently stated that he was not going to fight Pacquiao again, that he's uh, he's retired and he's not looking to get into the ring at all and fight Manny Pacquiao or anybody else. But as, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather Sr. didn't really respond to that. You know, he didn't really respond to that. He just said he thinks the fight's going to happen next, and uh, he looks forward to the fight taking place. Now... That's Floyd Mayweather Sr.'s talking. You know, he would be looking to uh, for that fight to happen. You know, he's the trainer, and that's a nice payday, even for a trainer, in a fight that that's going to probably generate, you know, three, four hundred million in revenue. So that's, you know, you 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 can see why Floyd Mayweather Sr. would be wanting that fight to take place. But you, as we know, Floyd Mayweather has always stated that until you hear from me that a fight is taking place, don't believe it. And Floyd has steadfastly stated that he's not fighting Manny Pacquiao again. He's not interested in that fight. He said he feels that uh, Manny Pacquiao, once he loses to him again, will make an excuse like he did in the first fight, saying his shoulder was all jacked up. And then after the fight was over with, Floyd stated that he raised both hands up like he was the winner. So if, it's, if your shoulder is all jacked up, why would you be raising both of your arms up after the fight? So he said that was uh, a bunch of BS. And then he also stated that uh, Manny Pacquiao was throwing the alleged jacked up shoulder, the right hand, I think it was. He said he was throwing that all night long, throwing punches the right hand and the left hand. So if your shoulder was jacked up, as you said it was, I think he said he messed it up in the fourth round, third or fourth round. And if it was, if it was messed up like he said it was, then he wouldn't have been throwing it all night and missing, as Floyd Mayweather Jr. stated. So uh, he said he's not, he doesn't want to give him another rematch and lose, and Manny Pacquiao make a bunch of excuses about why he lost to him a, a second time. So that's what Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather has recently stated, and we'll see what happens, man. But uh, again, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is saying it's on like a pot of neck bones. Floyd Mayweather Jr., Manny Pacquiao too. I don't think it's going to happen. You know, my opinion is I can I don't see Floyd Mayweather jumping right into a Manny Pacquiao rematch without at least taking a tune-up first. Floyd Mayweather has a high basket, high boxing IQ and a high business IQ. And uh, business-wise, yes, it makes a lot of sense. But boxing-wise, to jump in the ring after three years since you've been in a real fight, I'm not counting Conor McGregor or tension up in uh, Japan. I'm talking about the last fight he had was Andre Berto, a real fight. And that was 2016. It will be actually 2020 before he was he able to uh, step in the ring and fight Manny Pacquiao in a rematch. So that'll be around three and a half years since the Berto fight. You got Pacquiao, who's had a fight in January against uh, Adrian Broner, and then recently just fought and beat uh, Keith Thurman. That fight took place what last month, July. Yeah, that fight took place in July last month. So he's uh he's been active, so he would have an advantage. I would actually pick him to defeat Floyd Mayweather Jr. if Floyd Mayweather Jr. came directly into a Manny Pacquiao rematch without uh first having a tune up. So I think if the fight was to uh take place, Floyd would first have a tune up sometime early 2020, and then around springtime or maybe early summer, you would look for a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather Jr. rematch. But I don't see it. I think Floyd is uh, making money being a promoter. He promoted Manny Pacquiao last fight versus Keith Thurman. He's uh, promoting uh, Javante Tank Davis, a young up-and-coming uh, fighter that they say is, is uh, going to be a pay-per-view star in the near future. So he should be making money. He should be happy, man. He's uh, had a Hall of Fame career, arguably the best fighter of all time. He has an argument. Not saying 
He is number one. I don't have him number one on my list. I think I have him number five on my top ten all-time list. But he has an argument for number one. So he's got a Hall of Fame career, and uh, he shouldn't do anything to try to tarnish that. So we'll see what takes place, man, and see if any announcements get made. There's a lot of people out here on YouTube and the Internet speculating, saying the fight is definitely happening, and uh, the Florida's going to fight Manny Pacquiao in Saudi Arabia. And this and that, man, and the third, saying the fight is pretty much signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm yours, like Stephen Wonder said. But JB Sports don't see it that way. I don't think it's going to happen. I think Manny Pacquiao next fight will be Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, winner, or Danny Garcia. I think that's his next fight. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.